Hi there, I'm Construction Gamer. In today's episode of Midlands to London, we're hopefully going to be building uh, London Heathrow Airport and we're going to be building the Piccadilly Line and the Elizabeth Line. Well, it's the main line, it's used by Elizabeth Line's trains to get into the station. So it's quite a lot to build. In the last episode, we built this uh, depot, which I've just planted some trees around. I think we've done a little bit with fences and a bit of a road as well. It was a bit of a challenge making this, but a couple of mods that we are using, the Build with Collision mod, and CW tracks seem to make it a little bit easier it was it's quite spread out uh, so we've ended up being pushed quite far into where Heathrow was going to be so that could be a challenge I think it's not the end of the world if we bring up the AI that'd help um, yeah it's not the end of the world if it looks like it's far too westward then we could just end up uh, demolishing Slough. I mean, it's, I keep on saying this, but the map isn't like north south, it's on an angle, so that's more like north south. So we could potentially get away with moving, well, we've got to move Heathrow a little bit west, possibly move Slough a little bit. I know it's quite a big town now, but I'm not really going to worry about it too much. We'll just see how much we can get in because the, I think what we'll do first is the junction, let's get this train out of the way, is we'll do the junction from the Great Western main line slash Elizabeth line into Heathrow and then we can see where things need to be yeah he's out the way now let's just delete some of this track it's a very complicated junction actually looking at it so it's going to be a challenge getting into this space because I would like obviously we're going to get this junction here which goes to Ealing something <laughs> uh, Broadway yeah Ealing Broadway I think I'd like to get Acton mainline station in as well but obviously no, that's over here, isn't it? Possibly not. Yeah. Don't know. Let's let's build this. So you need to demolish quite a lot of tracks. So just looking at the map. Yeah. Let's let's see, shall we? So first things first, we need a flying junction of some description. So we're going to need one of these. Uh, track construction. It's a big box. It's going to be electrified top and bottom. Uh, so it is going to be high speed track with catenary in that collar with three tracks at the bottom. Number of tracks is down here. So number of lower tracks, three. Number of upper tracks, one. Yes. And then we're going to have to spin this round. Let's just take a look. So we're going to have to build this around here. And crossing angle, we're going to change that. So it's needs to be quite a wide crossing angle let's change the height of the tunnel down to uh i think eight yeah because we've got catena i know i've got build with that Ooh, no, why is that gone build with collision is still on but if you have this too low then obviously the catenary masts are gonna obviously they're a little bit there but at least the catenary cable itself is there so that's all fine and then we'd want a little bit of do we want an angle on it so let's up track radius let's just no other way you know in fact i don't know if you want any radius at all let's get rid of get rid of the radius can i go to oh it's just a thousand is no radius is it no tiny little bit of radius in the opposite direction then something a bit like that is it three tracks i think it is maybe push this down a little bit and then put that in there like so and then we'll get some of our we'll have to delete a little bit more track i think so we want to take our tracks that are actually so track obviously it is 2011 electrification of the great western main line didn't happen yet and we're still not electrified but i think what i'll do actually no yeah i'll just leave this non-electrified for now but i will have the actual boxes electrified just to save us any because otherwise you've got to rebuild the entire box i think haven't you or can you configure yeah you can't electrify the track you do have to rebuild the box so we will have the box electrified so let's get some track connected up and let's see what sort of tracks we want so this one wants to go to the elizabeth line track and this one splits off so we've got what is it uh a hazen harlington station and then some things happen with the track and i think i need to put the lights on because it's quite dark as always trying to make head nor tail of my drawing which is supposed to make things easier but it it should do it should make things a little bit easier so we've got a little bit of put a track down the middle i think this needs a little bit of separation it does mean it's going to be quite wide here that this section of track because i think at some stage it's like seven uh, seven tracks so that's need a right, i'll get that switch into into there 
there and then there's another switch there and then you'd have Hazen Hollington station but I don't think we're going to build that unfortunately and then we want to get rid of most of that and then try and get that into into there something a bit like that but it wants to be on a bridge yeah it does do a bridge but it just it doesn't give you the choice does it is there an option zero ah yes there is Let, let's let's try and learn how to use this properly for a change shall we so he wants to be have I got a nice concrete bridge something a bit like let's try that one and then go straight into there and then see what that looks like that's not the bridge I saw. what the heck is that as nice as that looks that's not the right bridge right we just want that we want that one let's try the one above it then and straight into there and it's uh, it's just default into that for some reason what have we got here simple concrete let's let's try the one right in the center definitely definitely selecting the right thing I don't want to be messing around with this too much and that's done that one right so so none of the bridges are lining up with the actual bridge that it's supposed to be let's try that again what have we got now yeah that that looks a bash that looks spot on like it yeah great okie dokie let's get some more tracks on the go so we need three tracks alongside this junction here so we'll put three of these and we've got zero height bridge turned on still i will get the hang of this eventually because it is quite a a good tool to use but obviously that is a little bit of a glitch there with the with the tunnel selection you did see i was i was selecting the right tunnels right so we've got three of them so one one two three four five six seven so that splits off and then another needs to be a reasonably high speed switch i think we'll go 60 and then we've got to delete some more track as well so we'll have that going into 78 maybe try and do that i'd like to be at least 100 because it is the main line so 100 yeah and then coming into here we've got another on another reasonably high speed switch although i don't think we're going to get it yeah because this obviously 2011 is before the elizabeth line i'm not sure what service would be operating on these it'd be like these first great western 10 turbo type things but i think heathrow express would be on the up down fasts wouldn't it so maybe try and make this a little bit quicker if we can so that's 53 so i think what we'll have to do is because i want these nice and even because that's the way they look so and i guess it'd help to have nice high speed switches as well so what's 60 that's that's fine yeah so far so good and then immediately after that one we've got another track split it off we again we want a reasonable speed on that 157 i think we'll take okie dokie we're getting there right so next thing a little bit more track obviously these three tracks along here yeah this junction is a lot more does look a lot more compact in real life you know this doesn't curve it's like almost straight onto the bridge but i don't think i'll be able to the only way to do it would be have the curve the other way and then we've got like this wouldn't work this side so that track hold on this track's come off a little bit too soon let's try that again so bring this to here right and then we want zero height bridge back on again i think what we'll do is we'll build uh, let's see if this is going to work so that yeah see that's pretty slow 40 on the level i mean we've got a zero height bridge now will it let me build a switch build anyway no build anyway just it's a shame right okie dokie so what we'll have to do is we'll have to build a little slip of land yeah this is what i was gonna thinking i was gonna have to do and i am gonna have to do it unfortunately build a little junction i mean i could try a different bridge but trying to find which bridge actually is selected is not easy yeah this should be on a viaduct or a bridge uh so we'll get another piece of track coming off no that wants to be on its own just holding shift just to get that little stub and then down to there we've got zero height bridge on on yeah so basically what happens is the track comes on and it's basically on a viaduct concrete viaduct all the way and then there's a this box here is one big box with the junction on it so it's all kind of new but i think what i'll just have to do is a little bit of painting on that just to uh, make that look like it's concrete it's not too bad i do like this bridge and this actually is pretty pretty accurate actually right next thing is more junction array complicated junction here we've got zero height bridge on again let's turn that off right off track down the middle yeah really because considering how complicated this junction is it really is quite compact and everything's really close together this is about as close together as i think i can get it and then we want another tiny bit of track don't think this is going to be a high speed switch unfortunately let's see what sort of speed it's 35 yeah as much as i want the junctions to be as fast as possible we are running out of space for the junctions so we've got that into there i think can i get rid of that i can good right and then zero height bridge back on please good right and then try and get this up as quick as possible 
something like that and we're almost almost at slough all right let's get rid of more track shall we yeah we've missed the mark where i wanted the airport junction to be unfortunately uh right so this wants to go immediately into a box a construction let's no, not radius we want the angle maybe if we reduce the angle a little bit this is going to be quite slow right and then switch that round out the Angle's going to be the other way, but we want it, want it to be something like that, and then the upper radius, am I going the right way? The upper radius is going to have to be quite tight. Drop that down a little bit so we can get into that uh, that bit there. Something a bit like that, yeah, we're miles off. Maybe if I drop this down a little bit more, let's see if it'll let us get into there. It's going to be a really, yeah, it's a tight curve, but we can't build anyway, can we? Let's move the box a little bit. I guess I could, could tighten the upper radius a little bit more maybe maybe move this like over here drop it down just means that curve is going to be really slow but yeah i can't see the speed profile on that actually speed 40 that's not the end of the world considering the uh, that approach into there is quite slow anyway right and then this wants to be on a viaduct like so and then yeah we're <laughs> right into slough now so let's uh, let's get rid of all this track oh, yeah 165 is more than fast enough isn't it <laughs> on a bridge yeah good all nice and quick that should all be present and correct i mean i could yeah i could have actually done that a little bit less i could move this in a bit couldn't i because that goes up in the air so let's move this box i mean i said i'd move slow anyway it's, it's the station's not the most complicated i can always rebuild it off camera i'm not really worried about that too much but i don't want to be like right amongst slough so maybe if i just this in there and we're using zero height bridge anyway so it's not the end of the world and it's allowing us to build that we want zero height bridge on and then is that just a straight run 128 yeah that's fine <laughs> zero height bridge to one yeah that's that's yeah that, mm. i will remember to turn it off at some stage good so this is about as compact as i can get it and that should be two tracks not three once more at least the tracks in the right place right get rid of you because you're the bit that goes off uh, track construction lower track two and that's just bolted straight onto there with our catenary masts yes we've got those that's all fine and then we've just got basically the two main lines then which is all just normal i guess we're not considering yeah the scale of the map i guess it's not too bad actually i think i will just leave slough where it is just means we're not going to get Hayes and Harlington in, which is a bit of a shame because I would like to get at least one more station on the Great Western Main Line. Right, okie dokie. So we've done that, and then this track curls round uh, 30. Yeah, you're on, you know, you need to be on your um, thing, Gimme Bob, your viaduct. So zero height bridge on, viaduct, yes, zero height bridge off, and then bit of track going off to towards Heathrow which actually we're not too bad it's looking all right actually we're only a, a smidge off where I wanted to be so that is all good next thing is we've got these two tracks I think these all want to start can I just swing that straight into there I mean it does 100 miles per hour is more than fast enough uh, obviously it wants to be connected to those lines we're still on the kind of up down slows I guess you'd call them wouldn't you I think that's about as compact as I'm going to get it's not as compact as it is in real life but it's not too bad actually I'm pretty pleased with that uh so next thing is we want a bridge one two three no we don't we want a little bit of track I think track and then we want a bridge um gliding let's ice if we get rid of this track here yes don't worry build this with zero height bridge on now if i just go get rid of you a minute zero height bridge on so we're guessing that the glitch is it's so it's going to be the fourth the fourth one down because i want one two three four let's see let's see if this theory holds up right so we want one of those types of bridges on the flat no let's try that again so that's yeah oh yeah it is it does hold up i think uh but the only thing is can i select that bridge there i really want that bridge if not i might have to do it the old-fashioned way no it's still doing that okie dokie what i'll do is a little bit of cheating yeah water that'll work all right so from there to there we want a bridge zero height bridge off this time and then round to there we want which one it is i think it's just a vanilla bridge it's it is i think it's orange in real life looking at google maps but obviously we don't have that where where is that bridge i could use that i guess ah uh, that no it doesn't it's not it's not that type of truss it's that one in orange and i just bring that corner in as tight as possible yeah that's as it's as tight as it's gonna let me build it and that is quite low what's let's just take a look that is <laughs> that's miles too low um right one two and a few bits and then whack this round maybe even make this a bit tighter actually and then just select the truss type bridge and we've got a 
Hey Eli, that's the only problem. Can we just move this over? It still looks really low. Let's let's put that in. Right, okay. And then what we'll do is we'll flatten this back off. The only thing it does is it buries your pillars, which is a little bit of a problem. Um, let's put catenary on. Yeah, this bridge needs to be higher. Right, get rid of you. I think it probably does need to be. Probably needs to be that high, doesn't it? Let's try this again. What's, actually, if I just do that, is it letting me build a bridge? It is, but. The only problem is, no, it's not letting me build a bridge anymore. Yeah, just if I lower the terrain, it just means that our pillars are going to be below the terrain a little bit, which is not great. But I guess I could, I could fix that somehow. I think. Right, so let's this in zero height bridge on. Now, yeah, the problem with that, we're not building the right kind of bridge, are we? And it's not letting us do that for some reasons. So let's lower the terrain a smidge more. One more go. Good, right, something a bit like that with this bridge here. You want to be on the flat, and then the only problem with that is can I just try to jig this a little bit until we get a pillar where I need the pillar to be because we need this track to go through here. Yeah, the catenary is just passing under it, but we'll go non electrify for now as we have a zero height. Oh, yeah, you're gonna you're working now, are you? Okie dokie, right? Okie dokie, you do what you want. I definitely didn't build that bridge before. Yeah, it's a good, it is a good tool to have, but maybe it's not the perfect solution for all things. And that's gonna pass right by that pillar, so we're gonna have to realign this track somehow. Right, can I get two bits of track between those two pillars without them fouling the track? And that looks okay. Let's just put the scenery on just briefly. Yeah, we've got to, ooh, yeah, just lower this track a little bit. At least we know we can get under, so yeah, just one lower. No, just see what that looks like. That looks all good. Uh, maybe raise that up a little bit, make sure it's on the flat. See what our mast, a little bit of mast poking through there. Right, my build. No, I don't want the track on that alignment either. Right, let's, a couple more attempts at this. I just want to get this track in the right place. I just want to know for when we do electrify this track that it's not going to foul the bridge because that looks rubbish, doesn't it? Let's just lower that down a little bit. Turn electrification off and then just have track coming into there so yeah it's is we're on a bit of a bit of a weird angle though maybe this is a little bit ambitious trying to squeeze through here although i say that it's putting a pillar in now yeah all right then i'm happy for you to rejig the pillars that's that's acceptable at least we know we're at the correct height now but the only thing is actually yeah it's a pretty big span then between there and there which i'm not entirely happy with and now yeah let's just doing a lot of fiddling around trying to get this to look all right so we've got a pillar in there that's good and then these two tracks right so get you and you deleted probably you as well actually and then straight into there you into oh you go underneath as well that's oh, should be okay and then you want to be zero height bridge change the bridge get rid of you so uh, one two the bottom on there and then straight into there like so yeah that's that's acceptable that's just just touching the ballast but i don't think yeah i think that should be all right and then this wants to curve a little bit more gracefully into the side of this so this episode that's yeah that's getting boring fast isn't it having zero height on all the time so this episode is going to be two episodes i think um looking at how long it's taken to construct this junction so what we're going to do is i'm going to don't worry the both episodes will be on the same day so the Heathrow episode will be immediately after this one, but I think I'll split this into two because this has taken up most of what is normally an episode. But I'm a bit a bit ahead with my recording, so we can get away with having two episodes. That's good. A bit of, a bit of a bonus for you. To have two episodes in one day, as we have an auto save. Yeah, I think it probably works better anyway. Anyway, yeah. anyway, anyway, uh, it works better anyway because uh, it just splits it up. Because this is this is probably worthy of an episode in its own anyway on its own. So I think the last thing we need to do is just get this connected up. So I think, oh, I didn't have a look. Let's just take a look. Yeah, it looks like it just comes around onto like a normal embankment and then just wing, wing that into there, 50, that into there. And then this piece of track wants to come around onto that track like so. And then just a little bit of smoothing. I think my, what I'll do on this bit is retaining walls, uh, but this bit wants to be smoothed-ish. Not, not entirely happy with that curve, if I'm honest. Let's try that again, like so. Right, next thing is, just before we finish, so we want a thing there, and then we've got a diamond crossing, which is a bit weird. And then immediately after the diamond crossing, no, not immediately after, we want track construction. Uh, this is going to have to be electrified as well. Uh, while wood no high speed track electrified let's make this as length short as possible we can actually make these a little bit short can't we now we've got that build anyway option so we end up with like collision let's see how short i don't want it to be too short because it 
can look a little bit daft um, but just want to build that to about there yeah you don't want to snap it directly to track because you end up with angled approaches so what you need to do is just put a little bit of track in so you end you do end up with well depending on how far back you do this approach you can end up with a little bit of a roller coaster but otherwise you just end up with an angle lat coming off that and I think what I'll do is I'll just electrify that little bit there just because there was some catenary hanging in well, there's still catenary hanging in the air not to worry we've got that little bit in there and that all looks pretty good and yeah not too bad I think I'll take that it's not as compact as it looks in real life but I think as far as compact junctions on transport fever goes especially with with seven tracks is not too bad so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave this here for now and then we're going to pick up on the next episode which will be aired immediately after this one are the heathrow build and a little bit of piccadilly tunnel that we've got left to do so i'm going to leave this episode there for today say until next time bye bye and i'll see you shortly for the next episode